Okay, I want, I want to splice some real quick. Okay. This ain't this ain't about this ain't about money and woman. This with me, it's not about money or woman. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain something real quick. This ain't about money and woman with me or anybody else. Okay, let me explain. After I got out of probation in 2003, okay, listen. So from 2003 to about 2012, so that's about nine years after I got out of probation. I had no cell phones. I had no internet. I had a government check, but the thing was, I had no friends. I had no girlfriends. I spent from 2003 to 2012 before I even had a cell phone. I stayed home every day and night through fall and winter and spring and summer. No friends, no girlfriends, no nothing. I didn't have a car. I didn't have the weekends. I didn't have the weekdays. I didn't have Florida. I didn't have New York. I didn't have Texas, Louisiana, New Orleans, California. I had nothing. I had, you know, what did I do after two, I, after I got our probation in 2003? I started to donate money through, through the mail, personal checks. I went to the casino, but I, you know, but I went to the casino, I was trying to win money so I could donate money because at the time I wasn't aware of the past and the present and the future. So there you go. Before even, before cell phones came to play in my life and YouTube and Instagram and uh, Facebook, I didn't know anything about Instagram, Facebook or YouTube. You, you understand? Do you understand? I had no, I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of my neighborhood and my neighbors in Battle Creek, Michigan, and America, the world. I was blinded by everything day and night for nine years straight. You know, I never, you know, I didn't really go to any strip clubs. I never really was addicted to strip clubs. I wasn't even addicted to anything other than alcohol, liquor, beer, and weed. Got you understand? Before 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 when two thousand twelve came along, I barely had social media. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I turned forty years old, for the one, two and three, I for somehow I ran into on social media, I ran into young girls, and between the ages of 18 to 25. Okay, just think, think about 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2012, when I didn't have any friends or girlfriends or a car or anything. I, I barely had money. Okay? You, do you, does, does everybody in this neighborhood, real, in Battle Creek, Michigan, and America, the world, do you guys realize how stupid you made it, like, Foolish ass retards, what you made made out of yourselves? Oh, if I'd have been when I'd have got out of probation in 2003, if I'd have been doing what I'm doing now, then it'd have been okay, it would have been okay then, but not now. Think about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe we, we are all being deceived. By our, either our own deception or the devil. You know what I'm saying? Because I really never, I really never had a cell, I didn't even know what cell phones were. I, in 2003, I barely knew what a cell phone was. Between 2003 and 2012, I barely knew what social media was. I, I didn't even know about males or females or, I barely knew anything about my family. And this was in old 2003, between 2003 and 2000. You know, honestly, when I went to the casino, I had girls trying to talk to me, trying to get to hang out with me, trying to get me to uh, 
give them money and gamble with, but I wasn't aware of what them girls were trying to do with me and say to me, okay? You know, I was, I've been blinded to, 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 the, to sin. I've been blinded to sexuality. I've been blinded to my, fa my own family. I've been, I've been blind and just not knowing about shit until recently. And all of a sudden, COVID-19, Trump this, Biden that, politics this, politics that, Republicans that, Republicans and Democrats this and that, um, different colors, races and beliefs of this and that. Everybody made themselves look really stupid. No, all these people that complain about this stupid ass social media shit now, they, they didn't even, them people that complain about it now, in 2003 through 2012, they didn't even they didn't even acknowledge me as a as even a fucking human being or a son or or a sibling or a family member. Do you guys realize how how you let the devil and God just ruin your whole fucking existences and world and hell and heaven and all that shit? I was never worried about. You know, when I, in 2003 through, through the 2012, I wasn't, I wasn't worried about, I wasn't even, I wasn't even understanding anything about friendships, relationships, or nothing. You guys realize you're fucking fools, right? You realize that, right? Just think, between 03 and 2012, when nobody gave a fuck about social media around here, or even me or themselves. And now look at the fucking problems we got. Just because God, God and Satan opened my eyes to, um, to, to everything in, in between politics and uh, religions and beliefs and uh, sexuality and shit, and all of a sudden now it's just, it's a fucking it, the the problem went walling and it went ham. I mean everybody else. You guys are stupid, man. And then you want to try pulling some stupid ass shit. Met uh, talking about mental retardation, talking about mental illness, medication. Why, you know, they make more of a big deal out of, like, like uh, mental illness and medication, but they don't, they, you, you, around here, you don't hear them talking about crack and crystal meth and cocaine and heroin and liquor and beer and mollies and Percocets and people around here, they don't even discuss anything. They don't even discuss shit with themselves. They don't even reason in their own heart. They don't people look, people around here don't even they just do and do do what they do and say what they say. But all, you know, all of a sudden I get social media and I start talking to so-called beautiful woman and money and cash app and all of a sudden what the fuck? What's he doing? Who in the hell does he think he is? I'm like, what about in, oh, between 2003 and 2012 when I did I did fucking nothing. Fall and winter and spring and summer, for nine years, I stayed home taking medication, seeing Dr. Z's, Ben Sedilius. I didn't know anything about Battle Creek. I never, I never, you know, and then I got open my eyes and Satan showed me shit, and I was like, yes, it don't mean a fucking thing to me now because it didn't mean nothing, because nobody gave a fuck about it back then here. People, you know, and people are homeless on the streets, and there are rich people. That have everything. Poverty, poor, middle class, rich, and people just don't give a fuck. What am, what am I supposed, why am I even supposed to care about my family or my motherfucking self when everybody's fucking walling out going ham over stupid ass shit? About, you know, money and sexuality because I know what the fuck y'all are doing. I don't give a fuck. Y'all cre created your own heaven. Y'all created your own hell. You all created your own financial stability, whether it's great or not. And, it, and this is a problem you guys are going to, you know, I'll let you guys confess your sins. I'll let, I'll let you guys turn yourselves into right reports against yourselves. Nobody gave a fuck about me back then when I wasn't, I didn't even have cell phone. I didn't have any friends. Any, I've never had friends. I've never had a real fucking relationship with any female. No, 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 stop. 
You better go write reports about yourselves and turn yourselves in and confess your sins to God.